Welcome to another edition of MacBreak Studio. I'm here with Mark, and he's going to show us some really great things you can do with Titlemations and Whips. Those are two of our plugins that are available on FX Factory, and I know a lot of you have them. Some of you don't, but hopefully after today you'll see why you need these two particular plugins. And, and honestly, even if you don't have these, it's the, the idea is combining titles and transitions, or using transitions to animate titles. Mm -hmm. which you can do with anything, but um, our, our two most popular plugins are Ripple Titlemations and Ripple Whips, and you can do some kind of unique things by putting them together. Um, and me most people don't think about using transitions to animate a title, so I thought I'd kind of sure. show that. So first of all, um, just a couple examples. One way you can um, combine titles together with Titlemations is you can see here in the timeline, I have a title and then kind of a connected title, and what that allows you to do when they're animated, here we have one title animating, and it goes right to the next one very, uh, you know, cleanly Organic, join, right? joins yeah. them together by yeah. simply overlapping the two animations. Uh, and by the way, this particular title, you know, has these little brackets, but you can use any type of object here. We've got these graphic shapes. You can have diamonds and hexagons and lines or rectangles. So you can really change that to any object that you want, and that kind of animation will still work. So if I change these to rectangles, um, you'll still get that nice opening animation and then the overlap between the two. Uh, another example would be this type of animation. We have a line that opens up and then reveals another title. I really like that. So, and here's another example where something kind of flies out. It's sort of anytime you have multiple uh, text animations you want to put together, that's one way to join them. Uh, but another way is to use a transition. So here I have um, these two images and I've got one title that says Alcatraz Island and another that says Los Angeles. Now, one way I, to, to kind of animate between these is to turn off the outgoing animation for the first one so it doesn't close and to turn off the incoming animation for the second one so they're both there so in, but it's, so instead of using that built-in animation use one of ripple whips so mm. we've got a variety and there's a few that work best for this some don't work as well but for instance ones that work really well are this uh, panning category whip left and whip right so if I drop whip left on there, and we'll see by default, um, it well, kind of makes cool. this big colorful thing, yeah. which is a little, not quite what I want, but I can make it shorter. So I'm going to control D, I'm going to make it about 18 frames long, it's quite a bit shorter. And I can also, that blurries a little too much, so I'm going to reduce the blur, and I'm also going to reduce this prism amount. The prism is what introduces all that color that can be really pretty sometimes, so I want a little bit less than that. So now instead of that, I could just have this come on. And then quickly we kind of shoot to another I think uh, that's great. That's location. Great. That's great. And you it's a nice even, transition. Yeah, and you don't even need to you don't even need to put a transition on the underlying uh, images no, because you don't, the title because... sort of takes your attraction your attention away. Yeah. Right. That's really great, Mark. So by the same token, here's a here's these two where I had this Mac Break Studio, and then this Weekly, and for this one I'm going to go down to this. Um, let's see here push up. This is in the custom framing category. I'll drop that on there. I'll also set it to about one second, control D, one period. And so we do that and then oh, kind nice. of push forward, right? So yeah. this is this is something you'd normally use on a video clip or a still, but it works really well on a title. It sure does. Uh, here's another example where we have the same, we have the exact same kind of animation, but instead here, let's try this one called, we have this push left and right that we used uh, just a minute ago. No, actually we didn't. So push left. Let's try this. Push left. And try that guy out. Hmm. Okay, so instead of, it's very similar to this last one that kind of went down, uh, but instead it just goes in a different direction. And you have more control over these. I'm just doing something quick on them, but you can animate this framing exactly how you want. When this pushes forward like this, you can adjust this first framing. Say, well, actually I want it to to uh, go up more, or I want it to go down more. Um, you can change how much it scales up or down. So you really have full control over exactly how it works, how one leaves and one well, comes so in. Well, it's an interesting idea of using a transition that has a lot of animatable properties yeah. to actually do the, an do the text animation do the text for animation. you. Yeah. Right, you, well, you normally think of applying a transition just to video, but when your transitions are they have so much power behind them, why not use them for other right, things? Right, right, exactly. So by the same token, for the second position, when the second one uh, comes in, we could have it off to the side a little bit more, 
change how much it scales, have it scale way up. So you can really kind of play with exactly how that animation unfolds. Um, and on this last example here, I think this is the last one, maybe I've got one more, uh, we've got these uh, custom framing with this thing called Flip Match Sky, which is made to have two uh, videos whose sky match make a really seamless transition. But again, this thing works well on videos. So, oops, I put it in the wrong place there. Let's just select this and double click um, right there. And so this one flips around to yeah. reveal Linux title. Yeah. Okay, so they're all kind of simple, but they're fun and, and easy to do and highly adjustable to um, create animation on your titles. Yeah, they're great. So, oh, so like, actually, here's one last, a different <laughs> one here. So here's Mac Race Studio Weekly going into this week's episode. Right. So if I put, um, I put that same thing on this, and again, I like to make these very short is kind of the key yeah. here. Um, Mac Race Studio Weekly, this well, week's nice. episode. Yeah, so it's a nice, <laughs> clean, fun way to take our titlemations and animate them in a, in a different way than using well, the built-in animations. And there's a new MacBreak title launcher open right there. Right there. there <laughs> That's awesome. So just a quick tip on how to combine Ripple titlemations and Ripple whips to do something fun. All right, so, so what do you think, Felix? Do you like that? <laughs> he doesn't care. He's sleeping. Yeah. Anyway, thanks, Mark. Thanks for watching another episode of MacBreak Studio, and we'll see you soon.